Ever since the train line was laid between Paris and Chartres, Chartres, specifically its Notre Dame Cathedral, has been a day trip destination from the capital. Now, thanks to the nightly spectacle of vibrant images animating its historic buildings, Chartres has also become an overnight destination. So we packed our toothbrushes and took the train, an hour's ride from Paris's Montparnasse station to Chartres. We took in the view from the top floor of the media library, but it was a closer look at the cathedral that we wanted. The asymmetry of its towers beckoned us, as did the sculptures of the northern portal. and the southern portal. True to its 12th and 13th century roots, the cathedral is luminous inside, its freshly restored arches, its world-renowned stained glass. Mary in glass, in wood, in stone, her veil, some pray. The faithful nourish their beliefs with visions of divine judgment and seek their way along the rare cathedral labyrinth while we feast on the impressive orchestration of glass and stone, of history, myth, legend, story, architecture, art. In the afternoon, we bumped into Mayor Jean-Pierre Gorge, Mayor since 2001, he's overseen the vibrant and alluring lighting of Chartres by night. An annual budget of a million euros, he said, to create and operate the light show on 20-some monuments in the upper and lower towns from late April to early January. After dinner and sunset, we set out for a stroll to take in the spectacle. We began again at the cathedral. While other towns present a sound and light show of booming voice and dramatic music, gentler, quieter, entrancing visions are presented here, repeating through the evening. Come when you want. No reservation necessary. The kaleidoscopes and colorful projections run until 1 a.m. Chartres by night is not reduced to its Notre Dame. So we strolled off. No rush. Such a pleasant night. No set itinerary. The historic covered market looks like a UFO landing on this square. We watch the flora and the fauna by the river. We wandered around at a chatty, easygoing pace. We stopped for a while by the buttresses of Saint-Pierre at the side and at the back. We stopped at City Hall. And at the mural where we'd earlier met the mayor. and so on and so on. It was after midnight by the time we returned to the hotel. The four-star Grand Monarch is where we stayed. A nightcap, perhaps? Or just a good night's sleep? In the morning, make that late morning, some head on to Mont Saint-Michel or to Brittany or to the Loire Valley, by train, by car, even by bike. After 24 hours in Chartres, we took the train back to Paris.